Hi, everyone. Can you hear me and see me? No sé si me Hi, Abby. Hi, it's good to see you again. How are you after the weekend? How was the weekend, by the way? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Very good. Really? Did you rest? Could, could you rest? ¿Pudieron descansar? No much. Why? Because in um, my house, uh, we are there is some rem uh, remodelation. Uh, I I take work. Oh my God! So yeah, you are yeah. like changing things in your home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so a little change, a little a little change, but it's necessary. Yes, of course. Um, of course, sometimes you need to change the things. Um, I change a, a few things in my in my room too. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I had a different draw right here, and I did this on Friday, and I changed the drawers. I put the one that was here. I put in like right there in the other wall and i put it this right here so i have been changing like things in my room too um trying to redecorate redecorar. i see you interesting yes i love to paint and to draw so uh, as you can see no sé, creo que por la cámara se puede really? ver Están como mis pinturitas por ahí so i see yeah I do that. Es, es parte de mis hobbies. No tiene nada que ver con mi carrera tampoco, pero son parte de mis hobbies. So, I really love to paint. De hecho, hice como tres pinturas este fin de semana. Me dio el ataque creativo. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like working too, but not working like a job. I was working like a hobby. And it was amazing for me. It likes a little bit um, like a therapy like changing things in my room <laughs> but I know that it's good for you like to change something in your home y se siente diferente a veces verdad yeah, yeah. in my case a complete remodeling of the bathroom oh my god yeah yeah I uh -huh. I need a, a different style okay that's great like you're trying to adapt a new style to you uh, Thai Romano. Sorry? Uh, un, a remodelation type Romanic. Ah, okay, good. Uh, it's great, it's great. And how it's going? ¿Cómo va? Finish? Complete? ¿Ya lo terminó? It's finished? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. And do you like it? Do you like the, the, um, the final the final redecoration yeah 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 okay that's great so um i hope the rest of you could rest thomas no 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 descansó porque tenía trabajo dice pero espero que los demás hayan descansado um i rest and i'm so happy to see you here again in class i think that you are 15 14 right now and we're going to start our class right now. Um, I'm just I, I I just gonna um remind you about the platform. Don't forget that this is the week number three, the week number three. Ya se me había ido la cuenta. Les iba a decir la segunda, pero no. The week number three, and you're going to do the section number four. And you can try this section number five. And the next week, you're going to find the section number five and the final exam. El viernes a la medianoche tiene que estar terminada la sección número cuatro. Y yo, como les digo, es mi recomendación como maestra de que trabajen la sección número cinco adelantándola de una sola vez para que ya no les vaya, uh, no se vayan a quedar atrasaditos. Y pues ya tienen que haber terminado la sección número tres y el middle 
term eh, la semana pasada. ¿Cómo les fue en el middle term? Was it easy? Yes, no. Was it easy the middle term? Guys, you there? Didn't. Rel relative easy. Yes, yeah. Easy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it's done. Done. Okay. So you are good. Everything was fine. Cindy dice, yes, teacher. Okay, I'm so glad. Qué bueno que les haya ido bien. Um, ese es el punto. Se sintieron eh, fácil el meter, pues el final exam igual va a estar fácil. Y pues vamos a continuar. Perdón que tengo un poquito de alergia porque estos cambios drásticos de clima no le benefician en nada a mi naricita. Entonces van a escuchar este sonido un poquito seguido. I have the same problems. Really? Like you are so allergic? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Yes, I, I am. I, too. I, I, I am a people very, very allergic. I'm very allergic too. Um, sobre todo a los cambios de clima. Rapidito me ponen mal. No lo soporto. Chemical, chemical product too. Sorry. Chemical product too. Ah, uh, yeah. Like I am a little bit allergic to the uh, to the uh changing on the water. And um, I'm allergic to cats, but I love cats, so I have three cats. <laughs> I'm allergic, but I love it, so I have uh, three cats. <laughs> yeah. So that's why <laughs> your um, you know, is like um, kind of uh, red. Yeah. <laughs> no, but today is not for the cats. It's for the weather because. Um, yesterday it was like doing, uh, well, it was like really, really hot. And today it was like raining all the day in my home. Aquí en mi casa estuvo lloviendo todo el día. And then um, it was like, uh, well, I, I I took a bath really late, like um, at 3 p.m. I think. Creo que me bañé como a las 3 de la tarde y es entonces tengo frío. No sé por qué. Es más, ando con mis con un pantalón de esos que son bien peludos y mis calcetines también porque no sé me dio frío but me empecé a poner así como alérgica cuando ya cayó la noche so um my red nose is not for the cats today it's for really? the climate change uh, mm -hmm. uh, similar similar to my case uh, for example I am very very allergic to the moisture Chemical products uh, and dust. Did you say mushrooms? Moisture. Mushroom? Like hongos? Moisture, moisture, moisture. Humedad. Ah, oh, yeah, I was thinking like about, um, about like hongos. Um, I, I, I like like humidity, like humedad, and you say like a mushroom. I I heard you said mushrooms. So yo dije, oh my god, nunca he conocido a alguien que se alergica a los hongos. But I'm sorry, it was. Ah, my ese mom. mushroom, ese mushroom, es ¿Sí? mushroom, es ese. Ajá, sí, sí. I I lo siento, no no pensé en esa palabra antes que la otra. <laughs> okay. So, pero mushroom is a type product. Allergen. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. Uh, I I wore how the how you some diet and I see you be I see you all type product about this allergen. Mm, interesting. I didn't know about it. So you are allergic of that. You have the like the allergics for that product. So I guess products. it is. Okay. Uh, alguien me habló? Alguien más? Yeah, that's me. Uh -huh. I guess it is. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Ay, miren, me están pero llorando los ojitos. Perdón. <laughs> 
es, es la alergia. Ok, uh, we're about to start this. And um, yesterday, yesterday, no, the last week, we were talking about some topics and we saw like the numbers, we saw any um, readings. And today we're going to talk about new things. This is clothes, right? This is an important part because we were practicing like how to describe people and how to describe things. And we saw some adjectives that you can use to describe these people as angry, pretty, happy, serious, exhausted, and all of these things, right? And you already know another word that you can use to describe people like the uh, characteristic of the colors of the things, or I don't know, maybe the taste or something like that. And today we're going to see the clouds. This is an important, important, important topic because we are use clouds, right? Todos utilizamos ropa. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to learn about clouds, okay? And we are ready to start. I'm going to show you my screen. Nos vamos a ir directo a la conversación. Tell me when you can say it. Did you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So. Yeah, we'll see it. Perfect. So we're going to talk about which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? So for this, I need two volunteers, no, three volunteers to help me to read three. Someone to be Anne, someone to be Sue, and someone to be Cleric. Son tres personitas. So three volunteers to help me to read. You can raise your hand. Okay, Catherine, you're going to be Anne. Let me see. Okay, Catherine, you're going to be Anne. And Lisette, you're going to be Sue. And Tiffany, you're going to be clerk, okay? Go, go girls. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylized than the wool one. Mm, there's not no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It's four ninety nine, and well, you like to try to try it on. Oh no, that's okay, but that's anyway. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, that was so expensive. Oh my god, like four hundred ninety nine dollars for a jacket. Oh my God, like you need to have a lot of money if you want to pay that jacket for $499. It's like um $500. See, son 500 dollars. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay, it was so great, girls. Tell me if you have any questions about the conversation. Preguntas? What the meaning wool? Ah, it's Lana. 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 Mm -hmm. Lana. Thanks. A pleasure. Another question? No. Okay. Perdón, también que esté bostezando, lo siento. Pero me levanté bien temprano porque tenía un montón de tareas que hacer porque las ignoré el fin de semana. <laughs> so, I'm a little bit exhausted right now. Eligió ser feliz. Sí, eligió ser feliz. <laughs> y ahora me pasaron la factura de ser feliz. <laughs> ok, creo que ya les puedo... Ya les estoy presentando, ¿lo ven? 
Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So we're going to see like which one do you prefer that is the grammar focus. When we want to um like to choose something else, uh when you want to choose something, perdon, something, and someone says which one do you prefer, we can use comparisons with adjectives. Los comparisons son las palabras que se utilizan para comparar. Sí, como cuando yo digo. Eh, mi teléfono es mejor que el tuyo, por ejemplo. O estoy comparando los teléfonos, sí, los modelos, los modelos. Sí, digamos que yo digo, mi teléfono es mejor que el tuyo. Like, my cell phone is better than yours, ¿ok? Or than your cell phone. Mi teléfono es mejor que el tuyo. Uh, mi blusa es más cara, por ejemplo. My blouse is um, more expensive than yours. Um, eh, mi computadora es más barata que la tuya. My computer is cheaper than yours. That is the comparisons. Cuando comparamos dos cosas, dos personas, dos adjetivos, sí, eh, utilizamos como las preferencias y los, com y los comparativos, ¿ok? So, I need someone to read this. Alguien que me ayude a leer las preguntas y respuestas. Una personita. Okay, Jose Roberto, help me to read. Hi. Uh, which one do you prefer? Uh, that one is cheaper than the world one. I prefer the letters one. This one is nice thing. Uh, which one do you like better more? Uh, the leather jacket is um, prettier prettier than I like the letters want better more. It looks better than it's more stylish 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 than. Stylish then, of course. Stylish. Thank you, Jose. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I perdón. So as you can see. Para hacer los comparativos en inglés, lo único que se utiliza es una ER al final de los, eh, de los adjetivos. Por ejemplo, cheap es barato. Lo vamos a poner la ER y se dice cheaper. Nice es ah, como chivo, como genial. Le ponemos la, bueno, en este caso solo la R porque ya tiene una S y termina con L, le pone nada más la R. Nicer, right? Nicer. Y es como el más, eh, es más chivo. Like, uh, my... Um, my, my outfit is nicer than yours. Como mi, mi, mi outfit de hoy, vea, el que ando usando la ropa que uso, es más chiva que la tuya, nicer. Pretty, that means prettier, prettier. Um, que le quitamos la Y y la convertimos en una I latina. Si le, el adjetivo termina con Y, la, le quita la Y y le pone la I latina y la ER. Big, that means bigger. Y así con todos los adjetivos. Yo recomiendo que para aprenderse esta parte de los adjetivos como comparativos, los busquen en internet y se los aprendan. Porque hay... Eh, so, todos son distintos, ¿sí? Y, por ejemplo, cuando las palabras son muy grandes, como expensive or dangerous, comfortable, por ejemplo, que son eh, palabras bastante grandes, no se les pone la ER, sino que se les, se les agrega el more. More expensive than... More dangerous than, more um, comfortable than, ¿sí? Y cuando los adjetivos son más chiquitos, como cheap, como nice, como pretty, se le pone la ER. Yo recomiendo que vayan a internet y busquen una lista de comparativos, porque van a ver que hay unos incluso que se le puede decir de las dos formas, se les puede poner el more y se les puede decir con la ER. Esto depende de los adjetivos. Así que esto es algo que más bien tienen que ir a investigar. Eh, permítanme, solo quiero ver que en el chat me están dice Norma, no se puedo con conectar, porque tiene mala ok, ok, no se preocupen no se preocupen, qué bueno que se haya podido incorporar y Marcos igual, qué bueno que se hayan podido conectar ahorita, no se preocupen ahorita igual vamos comenzando ya hicimos la lectura y ahorita estamos hablando de los comparativos, ok entonces yo recomiendo, porque esta parte siempre es como los verbos, sí, es como los verbos 
eh, tienen que ir y aprenderse la mayoría de adjetivos y ver cómo es que se utilizan los comparativos. Y también existen los superlativos, pero eso lo van a ver un poquito más adelante. Sí, de hecho, se lo estoy dando a otro grupo como dos módulos adelante de ustedes. So, esto es como una pequeña introducción a ese tema. Entonces, para comparar, vamos a utilizar el, la ER en los adjetivos. Sí, cheaper, nicer, angrier, prettier, bigger, um, smilier, <ríe> um, confuser, and all of these things. Y así todos los adjetivos, ¿ok? Esto es solamente para compararlos. Y... Useful expressions, eso se los voy a leer yo porque apenas si se ve. Useful expressions is just like, for example, the color is prettier when you are talking about the colors of the clothes. The design is nicer, como el diseño es más chivo. Sí, como está más, está más fino, por ejemplo, the, the, the design is nicer. The style is more attractive, ¿ok? El estilo de la ropa o de la cosa que ustedes están señalando es más atractivo. Lo que tú dices, attractive is like a long uh, word, una palabra un poquito más larga y se utiliza more. More attractive than. Lo demás es como it's prettier than, nicer than, better than, um, and all of these things, ¿ok? The material is better. This is like useful expressions. Ok, ahora sí a lo que llegamos. Vocabulary. This is the, a little vocabulary about um, clothes and we're going to see this. You already know what is the dynamic when we see a vocabulary. I'm going to um, tell you the pronunciation of the words and then you're going to repeat it after me. So I can be sure that you are um, like um, doing the, the, the correct pronunciation of course. Of course. So we're going to start with the first one. Repeat everyone after me. Todos al mismo tiempo. Shirt. 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 Okay. Shirt. Okay. What is a shirt? Camisa. Camisa. Camisa, exactly, camisa, this is shirt, okay, mm -hmm. it's like una camisa, una camisa, okay, the next one, repeat it after me, t-shirt, 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 excellent, fantastic, what is a t-shirt? Camiseta, 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 perfecto, fantastic, repeat after me, a sleeveless shirt, Okay, sleeveless. Do you know what is a sleeve? A sleeve. A sleeve. sleeve. Uh -huh, okay. Do, do you know what is a sleeveless shirt? No. Camisas en mangas. Camisas sin mangas, exacto. Sleeve es, sin, es mangas. Sleeve. Mm -hmm. Y les es como menos. So, sleeve, less shirt. Mm -hmm. es sleeve como... es manga. Ah, less Ajá. es menos. Ah. Exactly. Ajá, exactly. Es que el inglés es súper contextual. Entonces, las cosas se dicen tal cual son. So, that's it. Sleeve, less shirt, camisas sin mangas. O los que nosotros les decimos en el buen salvadoreño, los centros. ¿Verdad? Los centros. This is a sleeve. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's a sleeve, less shirt. <laughs> Okay, repeat after me. Tie. 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 Excellent. Tie. That is corbata. Okay, corbata. Repeat boots. 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 Okay, boots. What is boots? Boots. Botas. Botas, perfecto, botas. I really love boots. I am a really big fan of boots. I have five um, uh, pairs of boots. Yo tengo cinco pares de botas. I really love boots. Son mis zapatos favoritos en la vida. Me encantan. Tengo de tacón, de esos del estilo brats. ¿Ya los han visto? I really love my brats boots. Uh, I have like two pairs. One in, one in black, one in... Um, In, in, in white, I have the others like is more than this, que se parecen un poco más a estas. 
otras que son más altas y así. Tengo un montón de botas. So I really love boots. That's one of my favorite um, shoes. This is boots. Okay, repeat after me. Formal pants. Formal pants. Formal pants. Excellent. Formal pants. ¿Cómo su nombre lo indica? Es un pantalón formal. Okay, repeat. Jeans. 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 Excellent. El significado es pantalón. Pero le decimos, eh, le decimos jeans también en el español, así que se vale. Repeat shorts. Short, short, short. 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 Ok, shorts. Que eso significaba en el español es pantaloncillos, pero nosotros le decimos shorts también, así que se vale. Ok, cap. Repeat cap. 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 Excelente cap. Ok, repeat sneakers. 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 Do you know what is sneakers? Es, es, es sinónimo de tenis running. Sí, son zapatillas prácticamente, como zapatillas. Ah, son zapatillas para correr. Mm -hmm. No específicamente para correr, solo son zapatillas en sí. Mm -hmm. Zapatillas. Ok. The next one, repeat, dress. 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 Yes. Excellent. Repeat blows. 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 Uh-huh. Blows. Excellent. You already know what is it. Repeat skirt. 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 Excellent. You're doing fantastic. Repeat high heels. High heels. Excellent. I really love high heels too. That another of my favorite shoes. Um, also, I really love the high heels, but no too, too high because it hurts. So I love like the mini high heels or maybe like the brats high heels because they have like the platform in front of the of the shoes and they are not um uh, tired shoes, que tienen como plataforma delante y siento que así no cansan tanto so I really your love boot the heels? Heels. sorry? your boots heels? my boots my boots, boots. my boots. boots, yes yes, I have three, <laughs> la, de los cinco, tres son high heels mm -hmm. yes I really love it <laughs> okay <laughs> repeat after me flip flops flip flops flip Flops. Flops. ¿Sabían que así se decía chanclas? No. <ríe> no. Bien, bien chistoso, siento que se dice bien raro en inglés. No, no le hallo yo todavía las flip-flops, que son como sandalias. Sandalias. Se a sandalias. Sandalias, sandals. ajá. You can say sandals también. Pero flip-flops es como lo que diríamos en buen salvadoreño, las chancletas, las chanclas. Mm -hmm. That's flip-flops. Ok. Uh, repeat after me. Purse. 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 Ok, purse, que es el bolso. El bolso. Ok, repeat wallet. Wallet. Ok, wallet. Excellent. Repeat underwear. 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 Perfect. Repeat makeup. Makeup. Excellent. Repeat lipstick. Lipstick. Excellent. Lipstick. Okay. Repeat sweater. Sweater. Okay. Perdón. Lo siento, lo siento. No. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No se preocupe. Pensé que me habían dicho algo. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, repeat after me. Letter jacket. Letter, letter jacket. jacket. Letter jacket. Letter es cuero. Letter, letter es cuero. Es el material de cuero. So, letter jacket es chaqueta de cuero. Also, you can find um, jeans jacket, que son las chaquetas de jeans. Okay, it's like a jacket too. Repeat after me. Sunglasses or shades. Excellent. Los lentes de sol. Repeat scarf. 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 
Excellent. And repeat belt. 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 Excellent. Good, guys. Do you have any questions about this? Sobre lo que acabamos de ver, de esos tres. Tres slides. No. Todo bien. Ok. Pasemos entonces al Jurly Vocabulary, because this is part of the outfits. Esto también es parte de los outfits, que es el Jurly, Jurly, que son todos los, um, toda la joyería, right? So repeat after me. Brought. Brought. Mejor conocido pink. como pin. Pink. <laughs> uh -huh. Y es un pin, algo que usted se pone, hay un montón de pines. Ok. Repeat, bracelet. 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 Excellent. Las pulseras. Bracelet. Okay, repeat, pendant. Pendant. Excellent. The pendant is like, como esta cosita que está acá. So, tenemos el necklace, que es todo esto, necklace. Y este es el pendant, como el... El dije. El dije. Ajá, exacto, el pendiente, el dije, como le quieran decir, exacto. Ay, yo pensé que era bling bling. What? <risa> What? Yo pensé que era bling bling. <risa> bling bling. Why? <risa> yeah. Es una expresión que se usa, pero es para decir exactamente pendan. Ah, no sabía. Sí, Culturizando. Bling bling. Yo les enseño inglés y ustedes español a mí. Ok. <laughs> ok. Thank you. That's right. That's a pendant. Ok. The other one. Repeat. Anklet. 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 Las tobilleras. I really love mm. anklets too. Ok. Ya vimos purse. This is handbag, que es otra manera de decir eh, cartera. Handbag. Y es como bolsa de mano. Handbag. 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 Ajá. También existen las tote bag, que son también carteras de mano, son como de tela. Tote bag. Amazing, también son una maravilla. Ok. Repeat necklace. 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 Excelente, ese sí es el collar, right? Necklace. Repeat watch. 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 Excellent, the watch. Repeat ring. Ring. Excellent. Los anillos. Los anillos. And earrings. 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 Excellent. Earrings. Los pendientes. Los aritos, right? Okay, that was journey vocabulary. Do you have any question? No question. No question. Perfect. So... We're going to have any speaking activity. I really love this because we're going to describe these people. I select like the famous people. Uh, maybe you know it, maybe you don't. Uh, it's okay, but the important thing is what they are wearing, right? Wearing, wearing, where is el verbo usar? Si, vestir, de vestir la ropa. So when you say I am wearing, you say like yo estoy vistiendo. Um, or she is wearing, ella está vistiendo. Si, ¿Sí? esto en presente progresivo. Or she wears, for, ex, for example, como ella viste, esto ya es presente, eh, presente simple, of course. But we're going to do it in like a present progressive. So this is what uh, the first uh, people, well, the, the first famous person that we have here is Taylor Swift, my favorite singer in the world. Um, I really love Taylor Swift. So we're going to describe Taylor Swift right now. And I need a volunteer to tell me what is Taylor Swift wearing? Un voluntario que me quiera decir qué está vistiendo Taylor Swift. Guys. Only one. Ajá, uh -huh, only one, don't fight. No se peleen por participar. <laughs> Todos vamos a pasar. Only one of you. I can, I can try. Try it. Okay. So, uh, Taylor 
wear uh, top blues. Uh -huh. Is wearing. Remember, top in blues. presente progresivo. Is wearing. Taylor is wearing top blues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, common jeans. Jeans. Mm -hmm. Um. She has a, a microphone in your hand. In her hand. Her. And only, only now. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. You did it so great. Yes. Okay. Yes. That was Taylor Swift is wearing. Okay. Um. Solo una, un, un consejo. Bueno. Eh, cuando nosotros hablamos en español, yo sé que estamos acostumbrados a que la característica que define a la cosa va después de la cosa, pero en el inglés es al revés. Por ejemplo, cuando yo digo en el español blusa azul, yo digo blusa, que es la cosa, y azul, que es la característica de esa cosa después. Si sí, digo, por ejemplo, jugo de naranja, jugo es la cosa y de naranja es lo que describe al jugo, de qué está hecho. Sí, es su característica. En el inglés es al revés. Cuando decimos, uh, por ejemplo, eh, jugo de naranja, vamos a utilizar, siempre en el inglés se utiliza color, sabor, textura, marca, um, eh, lo que sea que describa la cosa antes de la cosa. Entonces, en vez de decir jugo de naranja, like juice of orange, vamos a decir orange juice, for example. Este es un ejemplo, of course. Orange juice. Si quiero decir como... Um, jeans negro Sí, yo lo digo en el español Jeans negro El jeans primero Y el negro después Porque en español Utilizamos la cosa primero Pero en el inglés La característica va primero Entonces diríamos Black Jeans Black jeans ¿Ok? Color, sabor, textura Marca o lo que sea Que describa la cosa Va antes de la cosa ¿Ok? Es solo como un eh, Pequeño Consejo. Okay, so this is another of my favorite um uh, singers in the world. So who wants to describe what is Lana del Rey wearing? Uh -huh. Who's gonna try? Aparte de Thomas, Thomas ya nos describió Taylor Swift. Who wants to describe Lana del Rey? It's my me. Okay, Amalia. Mm -hmm. It's wearing a cap. Mm -hmm. It's high. A oh. cup of juice or soda in hand. In her hand. Mm -hmm. A t-shirt is black. Jeans. And... Back? Yeah, yes. It shoes from moccasins. Low shoes. Low shoes. Uh, this is like, you can mm. say only shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shoes, moccasins. Mm -hmm. Similar. Okay, thank you. Applause to Amalia. You did it great, of course. Okay, thank you. That was Lana del Rey. Yeah, she's wearing all of that things. Another of my favorite singers. <laughs> Yo presentándoles a todos mis, mis, todas mis cantantes favoritas y todas son mujeres. I really love it. Okay, who wants to describe Selena Gomez? Saga yeah, it's the next one. I really love Edward Cullen. <laughs> I like it, this saga. I like it too. <laughs> I, I read all the books. <laughs> okay. Someone wants to describe Selena Gomez? What Selena Gomez is wearing, guys?
Bye. See you there. A volunteer. A volunteer. Okay, Lisette. Okay, teacher, I tried. <laughs> Selena Gomez is wearing a uh, sunglass. The sunglass? Yeah. A necklace. Mm -hmm. Black boots. Shirt. And gray blouse. Mm -hmm. Maybe see. only gray. Ah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I can see, but yeah, we're going to suppose that she. And only... ring. Ring, excellent. Applause to Lisa. You did it so great. That is what Selena Gomez is um dressing. And I really love her outfit. Está bien chivo el outfit en realidad. Está bien cool. Okay. And the last one, who wants to describe Robert Pattinson? What is Edward Cullen wearing? This is Edward Cullen from the toilet. Edward. Sorry? Uh, he is Edward in the saga Crepuscle. Of course, Edward Cullen. I really love him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who wants to describe Robert Pattinson? That's the actor. Mm -hmm. Try it. You can do it. Ya ven que los demás que lo han hecho, lo han hecho súper bien. You can do it. You can do it. Go, guys. Go, guys. Mm -hmm. Who wants to describe Robert Pattinson? No one. Should I pick someone? Debería escoger a alguien. Que hay un, si no hay un voluntario en cinco, voy a escoger a alguien. Cuatro. Tres. Dos, uno. Ay, esperaba que hubiera un voluntario. Veamos a um, Cindy Stephanie, you there? Cindy. Yo, teacher. Ok, teacher. Sí. Uh -huh. um, Robert Pattinson wearing a black bracelet. It's black, but... <laughs> yes, it's bracelet. 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 And gray shirt. Mm -hmm. And black jeans. And and Gray center shirt, no sé si se dice. Gris. Centro gris. Yeah, sleeveless shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay. T-shirt is t-shirt or b-shirt. T-shirt. Ah. With t t t t t. T-shirt. I can see how b-shirt. Okay. That, that's it about Robert Pattinson. Thank you, Jessica. You did it so great. Yes, that is what Robert Pattinson is wearing. Okay, great. You did it so good, guys. Okay, I need to know if you have questions. ¿Alguna pregunta? Ay, Marcus quería participar, dice, pero no se le activa el micrófono. Don't worry, it happens sometimes, okay? So if you don't have questions, we're going to do the speaking act. Activity. And today we're going to see what are you wearing. That's the, the question for today. What are you wearing? Todos tienen ropa puesta, ¿verdad? So we are going to describe what are you wearing to your classmates. And I'm going to put you to the breakup rooms, of course. So voy a poner en las breakup rooms. Y ustedes se van a contar unos a otros lo que andan puestos. Okay? Go, guys. See you in a minute. Okay, get into the breakup rooms, please.
se estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Um, ok, quiero saber quién me quiere contar su ejercicio. What are you wearing? ¿Un voluntario que me quiera contar su ejercicio? Only one. Anyone? You there? No se peleen, pues. Voluntariamente, ¿quién me quiere contar? ¿Sí, Tomás? Okay. I can try. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and we are in... Uh, this year, uh, short, mm -hmm. flip flop, and glasses. You're wearing glasses. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Thomas. Okay. Look at this. It's pretty easy. It's bastante fácil. Okay. Anyone else, or should I pick someone? Come on, I don't like to pick someone. I don't I don't like to pick you. A volunteer? Miriam, okay, Miriam? I wearing t shirt dry, black shirt, black flip flop, and black coat. And black what? The, the last one? Eh, calcetines, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ah, socks. Socks. Excellent, thank you. It was great. Ok, Liliana. I am wearing a red blouse, white flower, black pants, and white tennis. And why? The last one? White tennis. Ah, yes, ok. <laughs> Excellent. Um, that is the sneakers, right? Los tenis son sneakers. Ok. Thank you so much, everyone. You did it so great with this. Um, everything was fine with the exercise. I hope you did your exercise in your home. No se les olvide, sé que no pasan todos a decirlo, pero sí espero que al menos la mayoría haga su ejercicio en casa. Um, I need to know if you have any more questions. ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra pregunta? No. Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. bye.